Well, hello there, everyone. This is Iron Mark III, and welcome back to the Tabosh Tangle on Factorio. Since last episode, I've just been doing some little tweaks around this place, and I also identified a slight flaw, as you just witnessed. As in, because these mines are here and they are a big pollution source, the aliens are now attacking it, that and the tracks near it and all that stuff. So yeah, I do actually need to start working on defences. Yay, defences. Hmm. Oh well. Bound to happen sooner or later, won't it? Actually no, I think that that, that rock's okay, I think. Uh, let's see. I'm only going to do a single line defence. So this is going to be... Um, row for... Actually... I need artifact collection up here, don't I? So, I need artifact collection, so that's going to be a double track. Uh, other track can come in later, I suppose, but... One, two, one row there, one, two for turrets, and then walls here. I think that's about right. Yeah, that's about right, okay. One going that way, one going that way. Yeah, yeah, no, that's okay. Now then, I need to figure this all out and get everything into place for this. So I'm going to build a defensive section down here first, just to make sure that I've got it right. It's only going to be Mark II guns for normal defense, Mark I snipers, because that's what I've got. And it's not that great. Put that radar away. Hello, train. <laughs> <laughs> I saw movement and I was like, what is that? Oh, it's train. Never mind. It's fine. But the thing is, this defensive line will actually be working with, you know, piercing ammunition rather than standard. So it will be more effective regardless. Hang on. To get a decent size for this, I need to have a... Oh, uh, these defensive sections are going to be big. There, yeah, one there. So the wall will have to go up past it, and that's going to be identical like that. Thing is, I don't want to saturate the front of the thing with lots and lots of weaponry because, quite simply, it's not needed. Plus, I'm going to reinforce it with lasers at some point anyway, so that's going to be another turret type. And if I do it too heavily, then that means that I won't be able to put the lasers into it without tearing other turrets out. And I want to avoid that if I can. Okay, central rover port. There. Sorry, rover, sorry, logistics zone expander, rather. So that'll keep it running. I need the ammo line coming this way, actually. So that's going to be the ammo line like that. Then we're going to have this to be the... There's no reason not to have it going the same way, is there? Yeah. Let's have it like that. Okay. I also want to work artifact collectors into it later. That's why I'm doing this uh, extra conveyor line as well. So what have I got? I've got a gun there. Actually, no, let's do this. Let's do sniper, regular gun, sniper. So, do it like that. Yeah. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Then, towards the centre, it'll be a pair of regular guns as well. So, this will leave space for some lasers scattered in there. And then another pair of snipers. Snipers are such a low rate of fire, I want to have more of them around. So, you know, keep it all running. Kind of thing, Kind of deal. Then I just want to get the power up. Like that. And just to make sure it doesn't get interrupted by, you know, all the nasty stuff that wants to kill my stuff. I can't actually build any turret. Sorry, any tunnels. I don't have any iron. 
Darn it. That might be a problem because I wanted I just wanted to work I wanted to work some tunnels into it. Just here next to this so I could put in a, a big pylon just in the middle there. Unfortunately that's not uh, hello train. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have the uh, space for that right now, so I'm going to have to do that later. Just put that blueprint away. But that'll do for now. Except for the fact he doesn't actually have any loaders to get, get the guns loaded. Yeah, that is kind of important, isn't it? So let's do that, let's do that. It doesn't have any lights either to light it all up. Um... I guess some lights would be a good idea. Let's put down one there, one there. And one there for now. Yeah, that, that'll do for now. Okay. That is now a defensive section of my wall. Pretty big, actually. Label wall. Curtain wall? Curtain wall, yeah. So there we go. I can now create a curtain wall. It has its, it has everything it needs. So that's good. But it's not in the place I want it. So, it's time for the first time to use a destruction blueprint. There we go. Now that should call the bots to come out and do nasty things to all of these. Yep, here come, here they come. Here come the little, little robots. And what they're going to do? They are... Yeah, they're going to tear the entire thing down. <laughs> yep. I don't want you here, so... All the bots are just coming to dis dim just demolish it all. Oh, there's an achievement for that as well. And because I've got the passive storage here, it's going to be loaded straight into that, and then go straight in back into... the actual main place. So, yeah, it's going to do that. I've got so much copper waiting now to go. But I don't have the train, I don't have the engines on me to actually build it. Which is why I have not. Okay. About this curtain wall section I've just designed, it is going to require some manual effort around the corners. There's no helping with that. But... One, two, like that? Yeah, like that. So yeah, I'm going to have to manually do corners for it, but that can't really be helped. It's a, it's a big, complex wall section. And since no robots come to do that, I'm just going to tear that up now. There we go. There you go. The curtain wall's starting to go up. It's going to be laid there. It's going to be laid here. Yep. And I'll have to correct the conveyors and actually add the fortifications for the corner, as you can see. And then it's going to be laid here. Yep, that looks good. Bots are already starting to come out to start building it, as you can see. There's uh, too many requirements for the bots, but what I need is to actually build a tunnel. One tunnel, all I've got. Okay, that's going to have to do to get the ammunition actually out to this wall. It's going to have to be here because of the maximum length of the tunnel. Yep. Then it's going to run the ammo like that, straight up into it. Yep. And already something's being attacked in the new wall. Which sucks because it's not ready to be defended yet. But here we go. I've got to go and manual defend it. Oh, jeez. Ah! Go away! Bloody hell. Wow, they, 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 they don't like that, do they? They're, they're just... Yeah. Apparently, building that close got them really riled up. Oops. Come on, can I get that? Oh, I've got to get that thing armed. Jeez. I could have done without that. <laughs> I really could have done without that. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. My new wall was being tested far, far, far sooner than I expected. But my old bots are all working as fast as they freaking can. 
Ow. <laughs> that shows why I needed this defense, actually. <laughs> Unfortunately. But, um, yeah. Hmm. I, got, I lost a ton of bots and stuff in that. Hopefully I have enough to actually finish this darn thing. I don't know if I will or not. The loss of the bots is going to hurt, and they are actually struggling to get recharged as well. Yeah, they are really struggling to get recharged. Do I have a charging port on me? No. I can build one, though. I can build a big one. Okay. Let's get that down. That'll... There's too many bots here for just a single robo port. That's what's going on. And apparently I'm missing lights and things as well. That's... Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I was going to build the lights, but I didn't. I didn't. What? I'm getting distracted. Far too easily. Anyway, charging port. Let's slap that there. Okay. That'll let the bots start recharging better. Because they do need that. They're missing some blues. So let's dump uh, my, my other spare stack of those into it. They're missing the lights. So let's go ahead and dump those into it. Let's grab that. Mm-hmm. I've only got a sink. I've only got a bit over a stack, stack of mines left. That is a slight problem, actually. But yeah, that charging port let my drones actually keep working, and the defenses are actually starting to go up now. Is there anything else I'm short of? I don't think there is. At least not in the required build area. As soon as they reconnect everything, then they're going to be in for a nasty shock. But you know, actually, let's do that now. Let's make sure it's got power. Because that's what I was doing when I saw that attack wave hitting. I was actually connecting the power lines to it. Don't know why it has that out of power thing going on. But it does that. There you go. But yeah, this section is now actually armed with turrets and things, so it should actually be able to defend itself moving forward. Which it wasn't able to when that attack wave actually hit. <laughs> Flipping aliens. Yep, suddenly, yep. It's all going out, it's all being fixed. Though I do need to actually get some more recharging ports built as well, and... Yeah. Yeah. This will this will definitely act as a good defence. I'll say that for it. Are you all still waiting to charge? Yeah, loads of you are just waiting to charge, aren't you? While well, these bots are flying off with... Yeah, those things are all charged up now that I've got that port, but all of these are still waiting in queue, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll just redeploy them. That should get them going. Off you go. Right. Who'd have thunk it? A single rubber port not being enough to recharge all the bots. <laughs> oh well. At least the rest of it's all going up a lot more smoothly now. I just hope I'm not running out of stuff. Yeah, that should do that. And this corner... Corn lasers are going to be in the corners, but I still need to lay the walls like that. There we go. And this should hold off everything coming at me from those bases to the sides. Because those things are, you know, going to be a slight pain. And look at this. Swarms of bots just doing my bidding. <laughs> oh, I love this. Though, the aliens have been coming down this way as well, so I actually need another section, so... Hmm. Will I have enough resources to actually build this thing? Whoa! Okay, I thought I was on the tracks for a moment there. <laughs> Luckily I was not, but still. It was not pleasant to suddenly think, Ah, I'm going to get squashed. I survived the alien attacks and then I just wasn't. Wow, look at all this coal it's carrying. How's the power supply doing, actually? Oh, the power supply is actually doing just fine. 
But still, I've got all this coal waiting to be... Sorry, coal? Copper. I've got all this copper waiting to be picked up. Can I build that? No, I'm short on iron. Oh, I'm short on... Short on posts and short on things. I might as well just dump down the carriage I've got. Like that. Just start loading some copper into it. Because I'm getting an absolute flipping ton from those mines up there. I need to get the other the other posts sorted out and working them. But defence was... As you saw from that particular attack wave, defence was a slight priority. Yeah, that's all looking okay. Stuff is blow... What's blowing up? Yeah, see, this is why I wanted to extend the... Um, fortifications, because... I've got aliens coming in like this and hitting stuff. What's what's blown up? A mine has blown up. A post has... Yeah, it's, it's knocked out a few bits and bobs around here. I can get that replaced. This area isn't logistics covered, so I'm, I can put a post in there as well so it can actually try to fix things. But it's going to be missing a few parts. I'd better dump some yellows into that logistic zone as well. What else is it missing? Yellow conveyors. Um, hopefully not somewhere vital. Let's have a look at the map. Yeah, it's missing a few yellow conveyors and things, but it looks okay for the most part. You're missing pylons. That's not good. You're missing Mark 1, Mark 1 guns. Let's place you with a Mark II. Okay, what else? Radar. I'm carrying a spare one of those as it happens. So I'll just dump that in there as well. And I'll repla replace your pylon like that. Okay, are you alive now? With the exception of the yellows? I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff. But what worries me is that... Ah, okay. The missing conveyors are in a key location. It was the it was the, the entire power supply to this particular area. There we go. Okay, that should that should be working again now. What else are you missing? Lights and a couple of yellows. Yeah, I'm just going to dump a couple of yellows into the supply chest for this area. Like, um, I'll take those out. Yep, I'll put those in. I can't do much else, so. Yeah, this is actually going to have to be it for the moment because I am I'm actually short on materials and things. Why are you saying you're short on yellows? I dumped yellows into your chest. Oh, you just not realised it yet. Okay, never mind. And something blew up. What blew up? A power pole again? It's this area that keeps getting attacked at the moment. I prepared but put in a demolition order for the trees that are in the way. Or, better yet, here's a thought, I could extend the ammunition supply line. Oh, the ammo supply line isn't actually complete this far. There we go, that should actually distract any aliens trying to hit this bit, because they'll be in range of my snipers. Excellent. Okay. Train still here? Train still here. Don't go away, train. I need to board you. There we go. Okay. Time to roll. But yeah, I need an actual trip back to the the main to Bosch facility because I need resources, I need supplies. I can't build everything I need because I've just run out of everything. So I'm going to have to do something about all of this. Hmm. At least I've got the copper supply sorted out. That's going to work, kind of. Oops. In we go. I'm definitely not short on coal. <laughs> that was the original shortage that made me start doing all this. But I am still short on a bunch of stuff. What do I want? Oh, it's got an active blueprint slot. Okay. I shouldn't have wiped that one that I took of the station. Though that said, this is the entire unloading assembly, and it is actually... It's, it's, it's not... Um, it's all fixed in one side, so... Uh, station unloading. Okay, so I can just dump this where I need it. Thank you for the autosave. That is much appreciated. 
Where are my stations? I know I was carrying some... Oh, there they are. Right. I need to drop down those stations I pulled up from here so long ago now. So I can see where I'm putting things. And then I'm going to tell it that I want it to have an unloading set there and an unloading set there. And I'll also put down a pylon for the entire darn lot here. Yep, that looks good. And now that's powered, it's going to call the bots and build it. <laughs> so, haha. Build, my little minions, build. And because it's the end of video, that's as far as I'm going to get this particular time. That leaves me two more videos to finish fortifying and sort out all the stuff in this week, since I do five a week. But with the help of all my little robots, I am well on track to massively expanding my other base and getting the ore supply sorted and getting the trains sorted. It's just a question of gathering and building now to get it all in place. So yeah, this has been I Am Mark III. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you some other time for some more Factorio or whatever else is your viewing pleasure. Your Whatever else is your viewing pleasure. Yes, speak properly would help. <laughs> yeah, I'll catch you later.